What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's 2021 now and I'm back to making videos consistently. This year you can expect videos on a wide variety of topics from training, motivation, business, lifestyle, technology, or anything in between. For my first video of 2021, I have three principles which I think you should live by. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. Three principles for 2021 are reduce friction, eliminate waste, and optimize fulfillment. So I came up with these three principles for 2021 after reading a book called Essentialism, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less by Greg McKean. In the book, the author basically states that you should determine what is truly essential to you, and you should strive to eliminate everything from your life which is not essential. This process will give you the space and time to focus on the things that truly matter. The author goes on to say, less but better. A more fitting definition of essentialism would be hard to come by. So let's get back to my three principles for 2021 and see how they relate to the book essentially. Once again, my three principles for 2021 are reduce friction, eliminate waste, and optimize fulfillment. I believe if you follow these three principles, you can truly take control of your life and focus on the things that truly matter. So let's talk about the first principle, which is to reduce friction. What this principle basically means is that you should be proactive about making sure that your daily routine is as frictionless and as straightforward as possible. So what are some examples of reducing friction in your day-to-day -day life? One example of this could be meal prepping. So if you do meal prepping, say on a Sunday, that means maybe four or five days worth of your meals are already planned out or already cooked. And during the week, you don't have to worry about making your food. Another example of reducing friction in your day-to-day -day routine is say you work out in the mornings. One thing that you can do is lay out all of your clothes and all of your equipment the night before so that when you wake up, you don't have any friction, anything standing in your way of doing your workout. You know, your clothes are already there, your equipment is already there, so just get ready and go do your workout. And finally, my last example of reducing friction in your day-to-day -day routine is setting a consistent sleep schedule. So this means going to sleep at the same time and waking up at the same time seven days per week. So now that we've talked about the first principle, which is reducing friction, let's talk about my second principle, which is eliminating waste. So eliminating waste is a big theme in the book Essentialism. So eliminating waste doesn't mean you have to become a minimalist, but I feel like if you, you know, declutter your environment, get rid of the things that you don't use on a day-to-day -day basis, this will really give you, you know, the space and clarity to focus on the things that truly matter. So eliminating waste does not only refer to eliminating physical objects from your life. Eliminating waste could also refer to uh, decluttering, you know, digital objects, and it could also mean removing anything from your routine that pretty much wastes time. So for example, a lot of people waste time on social media. So one of the things that I've started doing lately is not going on social media three times out of the week. So pretty much like every other day of the week, I don't go on social media. But when I am on social media, I actually go into my phone, go into the settings, and set timers for each of my social media apps so that you know I have a timer and I'm not just on there all day long. So we've talked about the first two principles that I have for you of 2021. Again, those are reduce friction, eliminate waste, and finally, the last principle is optimize fulfillment. So when I say optimize fulfillment, what I'm really saying is that you should give yourself the space and time to reflect on the things that truly matter to you, the things that give you happiness, the things that give you fulfillment, and just the things that you like to do on a day-to-day -day basis. I believe that you should optimize your routines, your schedules, your work habits, to optimize your fulfillment and give you the space and time to do the things that you like doing the most. So, you know, people always say life is too short to live someone else's life or do things that you don't like to do. And finally, I believe that meditation is a great way to look inside yourself and discover the things that you truly like to do and the things that bring you the most fulfillment. I would recommend that you look inside yourself to find how to optimize your fulfillment rather than looking at other people and comparing your journey to fulfillment, uh, comparing that to other people. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, in summary, my three principles for 2021 are reduce friction, eliminate waste, 
and optimize fulfillment. I believe that if you follow these three principles, you will definitely set yourself up for success. So if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Expect me like you expect Jesus to come back. Expect him coming.